vendors. These are the items, that most custom builders avoid at any cost, on most projects. But why? Because most people, see them as something uncool. In other words, they are the kind of accessories, invented because of the fear, of getting wet. From a practical perspective, they are extremely useful. But aesthetically, definitely boring. And what if it was the other way around? I know this may sound silly. But there is one builder, who tried it. And I think you will be amazed, with how graceful, it turned out. Welcome to Racer TV. If someone told me they were going to build a custom project using gigantic fenders, I would immediately say, forget it. And against all odds, it worked brilliantly. This is one of those situations in which I love to know I was wrong. In a way, I am not surprised for being wrong. Because an exceptional solution, could only come from a brilliant builder. I am sure you already noticed, that this is another work, from the AK K Speed Custom, in Thailand. Which means, he did it again. After the gigantic success of his previous custom versions, he decided to try something very daring. As you know, this machine, is based on the iconic Honda Super Cub. The most popular motorcycle, on the entire planet Earth. And when I say popular, I really mean it. Because Honda already produced 100 million units of this practical and small motorcycle. This time, Iac used the latest 2022 Super Cub model, for this new project. But maybe I should say, for its new projects. Because, he built two. This is number one, and this is number two. Personally, I think the black version, looks even better. It has a certain Art Deco character, although with a very modern, and minimalist style. I have to say, this approach, was a very risky one. In the past, only a few brands tried a big front fender, on a motorcycle. This is the one, that looked relatively nice. The other, that looked very futuristic. And this one, probably designed by a six-year-old child. Jokes aside, one thing is certain. In their days, the design of all these motorcycles, was very far from being consensual. Some people loved them and some, could not stand them. This means that designing big and bulky fenders, is a very difficult challenge. And taking all this into account, I think Iac did an excellent job. If we pay attention, each line of these fenders, has a purpose, and also an aesthetic connection with the other panels. For instance, to make a connection with this panel, the front fender, is vertically fixed. But at the same time, the fender needs to have enough inner space, to allow the suspension and wheel travel. In what concerns to the rear fender, I think this one, is even harder to conceive. The overall shape, makes the rear section, apparently closer to a scooter. I even tried to improve it on Photoshop, 
by making it closer to the side panel and covering the tire even more. But even if this was better, there are very complicated issues behind the production of these fenders. Contrary to what you expect, these fenders are not made from fiberglass. They are made from ABS plastic, which means they require expensive and complex molds where the melted plastic is injected. And why did the K-Speed custom team decide to use this method? And here are the good news. If you check my video about their first custom Super Cub, the most popular comment about that project is, this is what Honda should produce. I bet Iak has heard that kind of comment many times. Because that is precisely what he is making right now. The goal is to produce 50 units in black and 50 in white. They are available at the K-Speed Custom website. They are not exactly inexpensive. But we have to consider, this bike, has a lot of modifications, that we don't see at first sight. Comparing it with the original version, you will see that only the engine, main frame, and these panels, seem untouched. Everything else, is new, or modified. Even the wheels had to be converted into smoked ones, to allow for the mounting of the covers. The suspensions were also lowered. And the swing arm, was obviously extended, to reach this good looking stance. The truth is, that each one of these super cubs, has lots of small modifications. And considering they are built around a brand new motorcycle, I think the final price, is perfectly justified. As I used to say, nothing is too expensive. The problem, is always in our low salary. So, does this K-Speed version of the Super Cub, look better than its first one? Probably not. But if you need a cool Super Cub, to ride on rainy days, this is definitely the right choice. Iak was very clever, in keeping the cartoonish flavor on the second version. He achieved a cool project, from a very popular motorcycle, which is known for being reliable, practical, and utilitarian. And even with so many changes, it still has all these features, but with a unique and original style, that captures the attention, of anyone who sees it. Thank you for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you on the next video.